even though all the cinemas are closed, I can still, thankfully, bring you a review of a new release this week. Welcome to my review of Trolls World Tour. So welcome back. If you are new here, I make movie reviews on this channel every Sunday um, and I talk about bookish content in the week. So if you don't want to miss those videos, make sure you are subscribed and hit that bell to get notified when I upload. Um, all my reviews, whether they are bookish or movies, are always spoiler free. And even though the cinemas are all closed and we are all staying at home, I am still trying to bring you regular movie content here on a Sunday. Last week, I brought you my top 10 movies that I've seen in cinemas so far this year. I will leave that linked up here in case you missed that, in case you are looking for something to watch at home right now. Um, so Trolls World Tour was released um, on Friday the 10th of April. It was supposed to be released in cinemas and I was always going to see it. I feel like it's been trailered for forever. Um, I feel like when I was seeing the big kind of kids movies in the summer, I was seeing trailers for this one. So we've had like nearly a year of trailers for it. Um, so I did actually pre-order this one. I had some Fandango credit left over from all the movies that I'd seen in the cinemas. And um, so I put that towards pre-ordering the 4k ultra HD version of the movie and I did watch it through Fandango now just because I had that discount code um, this is the sequel to DreamWorks first Trolls movie and features the trolls from the different musical lands being kind of not at war with one another but one of the queens who is not Queen Poppy um, wanting to take over power and rule the whole of the Trolls land. Um, so this queen, Queen Barb, is queen of rock music as we know. Queen Poppy, um, played by Anna Kendrick, is queen of pop music very appropriately and then we have classical music, folk music, country music. We have some yodelers in there. We have some like techno um there's kind of like lots of different kinds of music uh so overall kind of impression i would say that this movie definitely isn't as good as the first movie i was really excited about it um but it definitely has a stronger message than the first movie the first movie was kind of a little bit on board with kind of celebrating our differences and having a a positive outlook on life it's a very very positive movie with lots and lots of catchy songs obviously the um can't fight the feeling song was released by justin timberlake and was a big hit anyway and so you can tell that there was a lot of catchy songs from that film so i would say where this this new film trolls world tour falls down a little bit is that the songs just aren't as catchy um i would say that the songs in the first film as well are slightly more family friendly than the songs in the second film i'd say the songs in the second film aren't as kind of well known but there's definitely a lot of older songs in there that kids today wouldn't necessarily have heard so for the adults like me watching in the audience they're songs that I'm familiar with but for the younger people you're kind of like teens tweens and younger they're not going to be as familiar with those songs so I'd say that's where kind of it doesn't hold up to the first one in terms of the music however in terms of the message of the film the message is very timely and the message is very like appropriate for now and so i would say it has a stronger message in the film so if you're expecting it to be like the first one where you've got these catchy songs and just real positive vibe um then you're going to be disappointed but if you're looking for a kind of standalone with a strong message with some decent music um then definitely this film is going to be for you uh, the message of this film is very much like you know we can celebrate our differences while still living in harmony poppy kind of enters the film thinking that we all need to be together and the same to live in harmony um but the film kind of slowly progresses and again that's not a spoiler you can kind of see from the start of the film that this is what it's going to be going through and going forward um but i really like the message and i like the strong message and i like the way it was executed and reinforced throughout the film um the other film the the other thing that this film has going for it is that there are um a lot of big voices in this film obviously the first film had you know, Anna Kendrick and Justin Timberlake as the two main characters, but this film has a ton of other 
um, voices, including Jamie Dornan. Jamie Dornan's in there um, being the voice of a smooth jazz hypnotist type of person. Um, and then Sam Rockwell plays a voice in this one as well. And I really, really um, loved his character. And I feel like they kind of made that troll look a little bit like Sam Rockwell in the features somehow. I was kind of appreciating that. It, as you know, if you've seen my other movie reviews, I am a Sam Rockwell fan. I do like him in the stuff that he does. Um, but yeah, so overall I would say it didn't keep my attention as much as the first Trolls film. And that might be to do with the fact that I watched it here on my sofa with my TV rather than in the movie theatre. But I feel like there was um, it was more of a kind of bitty storyline than the first one. The first one felt a little bit more smooth, whereas this one felt just a little bit disjointed because we had more characters and more lands and more music and more issues within all of those different parts. Um, so it did feel like, okay, we're moving on to a new land. We've got a new problem here. What are, what's, what's Poppy going to do about this? Um, but yeah, I would say it's, it's generally good overall. I wouldn't say it's as family friendly as the first film, um, but it's definitely something that um, would be nice to watch at this period of time because of the message. Um, so if we were saying, should you spend your money to go and watch this in the cinema? I'd probably say no, just because the um, the sound and the music and the soundtrack isn't as good as the first one. Um, but if we're saying, should you spend money to rent this at home? I would say yes, get the family on the sofa, watch this, have a little discussion about the message um, and enjoy being <laughs> taken away to a different world for 94 minutes. Um, so yeah, there you have it. As I said at the beginning, make sure you subscribe so that my next movie review video lands in your subscription feed. Click that bell so you're notified for my bookish content in the week. I have a reading vlog, a book haul, a tag video, all these things coming up scheduled for you later in the week. Um, if there are any movies you would like me to uh, download and share my thoughts on here with you uh, next time or in coming movie reviews videos, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you've seen Trolls World Tour. I'd be interested to have a discussion with you. I will be back with another video soon. So I will see you then. Thanks for watching.